Good afternoon, everyone. I'm going to change the tone a little bit and actually move to what should we do. Now here we have people with immense talents, immense connections, uh, and I think through that a great deal of power. And it's very important that we monopolize and that power and make it uh, as efficient as we can in moving towards our objectives. And I'm going to suggest some ways in which we can do that. Even at the grassroots level, you can all write to newspapers and raise awareness and speak to and try and contact your politicians. That's extremely important to get the process going, which is only just teetering at the moment of that sufficient raising of awareness and getting the politicians to actually take this issue on board. And so all of you, I would like you to write to your local newspaper, write to national newspapers and contact your MPs. And among you here, there are also people that have got connections with international organizations, with other pressure groups. Try and broaden the Sharia issue into other human rights organizations and not make it a very narrow issue that it, it's uh, sadly at the moment tends to be. And also, I want you to try and, some of you that, are, that I see here have got connections with international organizations, and I'd like you to really find out how you can best apply pressure to do that. Now, I'm not asking you to do anything that I haven't tried to do myself. I've spent quite a bit of time in, in the House of Commons and the House of Lords trying to raise the Sharia issue, and I, I'm starting to make some progress. Perhaps, and, and also, uh, in European organizations, too, um, I haven't held back. Um, I've uh, even raised the issue with President Barroso, uh, who's the president of the European Commission. And I have to say, I was surprised. He was absolutely positive about Sharia as being a problem and, and doing something about it. And I'm now in, in conversation and negotiations with the uh, European Directorate of Justice to actually work out how we can use some of these European directives and laws to actually uh, tackle some of these issues. So. If I can do it, I'm sure an awful lot of you can do as well, if not better. So I plead with you to do it, and let's get going. Thank you.